Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ethereum has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators EMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By looking at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, we can see that the price moved up quickly with around 4.0% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1387. Nevertheless, seeing as the volume wasn't very high, meaning that the move wasn't particularly strong. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the hourly ribbon, so you should watch out for the price dipping back below the ribbon or if it will play as a support to the downside, which is currently at around 1378. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, currently, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are very high, meaning that the crypto is being highlight bought and a change in the trend can be expected or for it to remain at least stable for some time. Despite this, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so patience should be exercised until you see if the trend will in fact go down. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is in the three hourly ribbon, so it is to see if the price can break the resistance currently at around 1470. The resistance should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is below the daily ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 1595. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Looking at the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.